Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got this uh, green uh, right triangle uh, EMD fully confined uh, in a square ABCD, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that the area of this uh, green uh, triangle is 555 centimeter square. And moreover, uh, this segment uh, AM equals to this segment uh, MB. In other words, uh, M is the midpoint. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, square ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. We know that uh, this segment uh, AM equal to this segment uh, MB. If I call this segment uh, X, then this segment is going to be X uh, as well. So therefore, this whole uh, side length uh, AB is going to be X uh, plus X is going to make uh, 2 times uh, X. So therefore, the side length uh, of this square ABC turns out to be 2X uh, since all the side lengths uh, are equal. So therefore, uh, this side length is going to be 2X, 2X and uh, 2X uh, across the board. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AMD whose uh, side lengths are uh, X and uh, 2X. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square. Let me go ahead and call our longest leg uh, as our side uh, C. I'm going to call this side uh, A and this side uh, lowercase b. So let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, Pythagorean formula. A in our case is uh, x. So this is going to become x square plus b in our case is uh, 2 times uh, x whole uh, square equal to c square. Let's simplify. So x square plus uh, 4 x square equal to c square. Let's combine the like terms on the left hand side. So c square turns out to be 5 times uh, x square. Let's undo this uh, square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides and we can see this square and square root is gone. So therefore our c length uh, turns out to be x uh, times uh, square root of uh, 5. So therefore our this uh, md length uh, turns out to be x uh, times uh, square root of uh, centimeter and here's our next step let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words the sum of these two angles alpha plus angle beta must be equal to 90 degrees let's assume that this angle in this triangle is alpha we know this is a 90 degree angle so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta. And now we know that uh, this uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees and we know this uh, whole uh, angle is uh, 180 degrees. So therefore uh, this angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha. And now in this uh, triangle we know that this angle is uh, 90 degrees. This angle is alpha. So therefore uh, this angle uh, has got to be our angle uh, beta. So therefore we conclude that uh, this uh, right triangle uh, AMD and this uh, other right triangle uh, BME are uh, similar triangles according to angle angle uh, similarity theorem. So therefore we are going to have a proportion. In other words, uh, we have a ratio of ME and uh, MB. Let me go ahead and write down uh, ME divided by MB is going to be equal to the ratio of this uh, side uh, MD and this uh, side uh, AD. Let me go ahead and write down uh, MD divided by AD. And now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. We know our uh, MB is uh, X. Our MD is uh, x times square root of 5 and ad is 2 times x. So therefore I'm going to write down me divided by x 
equals to md is uh, x times uh, square root of 5 divided by 2 times uh, x and now let's go ahead and uh, multiply both sides by x uh, to isolate uh, m a and we can see this uh, x and x is gone and here x uh, and x is uh, gone as uh, well so therefore our m e length uh, turns out to be x times uh, square root of 5 divided by 2 so therefore our this uh, m e length uh, turns out to be x times uh, square root of 5 divided by 2 and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, green uh, right triangle uh, emd whose uh, side lengths are uh, x times uh, square root of 5 and x times square root of 5 divided by 2 and moreover its area has been given to us as uh, 555 and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area equals to a half times uh, base uh, times height and in our case our base of this triangle is x times square root of 5 and the height is x times square root of 5 divided by 2 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks the area of this green triangle is uh, 555 equals to 1 divided by 2 times uh, x times uh, square root of uh, 5 times x times the square root of 5 divided by 2 and now we can see square root of 5 times square root of 5 is going to give us 5 and at the denominator 2 times 2 is going to give us 4 so therefore if we simplify we got 555 equals to 5 x square divided by 4 and now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by the reciprocal of 5 over 4 that's going to be a 4 fifth I'm going to multiply this times over here and over here 4 fifth over here as well and we can see this 4 4 gone this is gone as well so therefore x square turns out to be if we divide 5 into this thing that's going to be 111 times 4 is going to give us 400 44. so therefore our x square value turns out to be 444 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, square a b c d and now let's recall the area of a square formula area equal to s square where s represents the side length and here in our case the side length of the square is uh, 2x so therefore this uh, area of uh, square a b c d is going to be 2x uh, whole uh, square so therefore this is going to become uh, 4 times uh, x uh, square and we know our uh, x square this uh, value is 444 so i'm going to replace uh, this by 444 so therefore we are going to get uh, 4 times uh, 444 so therefore the area of this square a b c d turns out to be 1776 centimeter square so thus the area of this square a b c d turns out to be 1776 centimeter square thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye